Our three top priorities are early, early childhood development for all, quality early childhood development, and some people have mentioned earlier uh, the, the importance of the migration. Um, no early problem. literacy and numeracy foundations in the foundation, in the foundation phase, uh, that includes grade R, um, and it will increasingly, as we take over, well, we've taken over the early childhood uh, function, uh, to all of you who are worried or questioning that, um, it has come over to, 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 to basic education department. Uh, initially, for the people who are visiting from overseas, early childhood development used to sit between the Department of Basic Education and Social Development in, in, in relation to ba education, but also social development, health, and other developmental interventions. So that has come over this year to basic education. We're still feeling our way around and making sure that we can actually do what we, what we need to do uh, to cover the educational as well as other developmental outcomes for, for young children. So some of the questions that you heard earlier touched on sort of this division, this artificial division. But over the next five to 10 years, that division will not, not, not be so, so, so stark. Uh, and then strengthening accountability, accountability and state capacity just to get the uh, uh, functionality right, but also to get learning outcomes right at the end of the day, because it's not just about projects. So in my view, uh, the biggest challenge to ensuring all children learn to read for meaning by age 10 is actually changing what happens in classrooms, focusing on that, but also being able to do that at scale. Doing all the different slices of the things that matter, including some of the things that were talked about here, Recognizing that everything that, not everything that was talked about here is not, it's, it's not, what we've spoken about here is not the whole picture in terms of literacy and numeracy, and certainly not just in the foundation phase, phase. The foundation phase is not the most important thing. I think there was a slide that spoke about also intermediate, because it's not just about reading in the foundation phase. Yes, Mongamel has said it is uh, very important, because that's a sort of a, a really critical thing to do. But also, we, we know that there's also need to, to remediate reading in, later, in the later grades, um, in home language and English. Uh, and then systematically to, to teach all components of reading, literacy, and create individualized opportunities to read. So if we, I had to summarize what we do, where I sit, is uh, in the department, it's policy program development in, 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 in mainly the programs that we support, including the curriculum program. Um, I think co curriculum colleagues, especially the DDG, should have been here, um, but she couldn't make it today. Planning research and overall intergovernmental coordination. I say that because I'm going to speak to, to what people don't understand about a government. Monitoring sector delivery and outcomes, separate and different things. They should be related, but they're not always necessarily, especially because of our legislative arrangements. And the evaluation of large programs, both in terms of impact, but increasingly in terms of implementation. So the sector is large, and coordinating it is really difficult. Um, some of the questions that you asked about what should be done about by government um, actually really should talk about coordinating what actually happens within schools. So you, ca you can't have a school that has 43 different people mm -hmm. having conversation about it. That's like sort of post-reconstruction uh, uh, arrangements in, in, a, in a developing country. And then building capacity and accountability throughout the system is a long term. Everybody has spoken about it, how long it takes, how important it is to sustain. It's not just about political will. It's not just about good intent to scale up, but it's actually what happens within classrooms and how we can replicate that using existing personnel, but also supplementing and supporting them. We have to recognize that in the poorest schools, we do need to support our, 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 our teachers to make sure that that happens. So, um, so in classrooms, comprehensive package of teacher support to foundation phase and other teachers, but, but, but particularly uh, concentrating on home language literacy development and the curriculum. We believe that the curriculum as it is could, could be much better implemented, much better practiced, and teachers need to be supported in that. Let's not pretend that's not the case, um, but it also needs to be effective. Do-gooders uh, 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 um, with resources and with, with, with projects, not very useful at the moment. I think we, need, we do need to focus on two or three things that we say we are going to do in the next five years and over the next five to ten years, do those properly. I think that's the important thing. For ourselves as government, in terms of the state and our, 
uh, agency, but also in terms of our relationships with arts and culture, etc. You shouldn't have to be having those conversations with arts and culture as NGOs, to be honest. That's actually a responsibility of government departments. Thank you very much, Nick, for holding <laughs> 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 <laughs>